Hey guys, somebody asked me to make a quick video of Gordon Ryan doing back takes. So I'm gonna do my best to describe what's going on from my perspective and maybe we can learn something together, all right? So here we go. Gordon Ryan versus Gary Tonin. This one's gonna be oh, the longest one, okay guys? Um, a lot happened in this really short clip and this also happened at the very beginning of their match. So it looks like Gary was trying to control Gordon's right leg and stepped his left leg back. This is what caused Gary to face his own hips left. So Gordon sees the opportunity and reaches his right hand to grip the left side of Gary's waist. This grip makes it a little bit difficult for Gary to spin to his right. Also Gordon's left hand around Gary's right leg will slow Gary down if he decides to spin to his left. So Gary decides to stand up. Gordon reaches with his left hand to Gary's hip at this point, Gary reaches under Gordon's left leg and tries to sit into a knee bar or a possible inside Sankaku entry. But Gordon makes this difficult by hooking his instep around Gary's right leg. Gordon is also using his this time to grip Gary's right shoulder. Gary knows the back take is coming, so he puts his own back to the mat. Places his right shin on Gary's left thigh. Gordon also begins reaching his left arm underneath Gary to attain a grip on Gary's left thigh. Notice Gordon's grips around Gary's thighs here. It's difficult for Gary to rotate left to right. Gordon then controls Gary's left leg with his control that I have never seen before, or I've never noticed before. It almost looks like a lockdown, but not completely. This control at Gary's leg ensures that Gary will not spin to his right. Gordon gains an upper body control and brings his right hook over. Gordon releases his left hook to tuck his left knee behind Gary. I think Gordon did this to try to climb higher on Gary's back because he was too low earlier. Now Gordon is sitting behind Gary and there is a lot of hand fighting until Gordon gets his left hook in. And then his right hook, Gordon now has full back control. Gordon Ryan versus Lucas Barbosa. In this sequence, Gordon Ryan started from a defensive position with Lucas Barbosa behind him. Gordon turns around for an arm and guillotine type grip. Then he replaces his left arm with his knee and transitions into a crucifix. Here, as long as both arms are controlled, Lucas cannot turn left or right to spin out. Then Gordon switches his arms to control Lucas's left leg. At this point, Lucas cannot spin to his right because of Gordon's control of Lucas's left leg. Also, Lucas cannot spin to his left because Gordon is still using his right leg to control Lucas's right arm. Gordon now switches his right leg to control Lucas's right arm and right leg simultaneously. See here Gordon's leg is actually covering the arm and the leg of Lucas Barbosa at the same time. Uh, he is transitioning to the truck position made famous by Eddie Bravo. Gordon then abandons control of Lucas's left leg and places his arms on Lucas's torso instead. Lucas manages to turtle and from here Gordon uses his grips to stay close. Gordon switches grips before inserting his left hook and at this point Gordon has attained back control. Gordon Ryan versus Ben Hodgkinson. So here Gordon sweeps Ben and then when Ben turtles up, Gordon attains an over under grip. Gordon then finds the opportunity to reach his right leg over to get his hook in and his other hook as well. So this one just uh, looked like a kind of an easy uh, back take for Gordon in this case. Gordon Ryan versus Evangelos Mountis. So in this scenario Evangelos was already very tired from earlier in the match. Uh, Gordon had already been wearing him down for quite a while now. Evangelos is laying flat on his stomach. Gordon uses his grip around Evangelos to pull Evangelos over. Gordon then uses his right leg to control Evangelos' left leg long enough to get his first hook in. Gordon easily then gets his other hook in and Gordon now has back control. Gordon Ryan versus Vinicius Gazzola. In this sequence, 
Gazola goes for a double outside Ashigarami. Gordon Ryan uh, pushes on Vinicius' leg and reaches for a grip on Vinicius' right shoulder. Gordon then uses his left hand to grab the other shoulder while he fights to get his other hook for the back. The right hook was basically in place already because of the previous position they were in. Gordon has now attained back control. Alright guys, I did write everything down and I was reading off of a sheet of papers. Uh, I appreciate it if you stuck around for the whole thing. If you did like this video, uh, feel free to hit like or share with anybody you want. And um, see you next time, alright?